Okay, welcome to a little while. This is uh, our test plot at 15 of October. 15 of October, our test plot. And well, the first noticeable difference is you can see uh, B1, the Mombasa is here, going very beautifully except the front bit. I uh, don't know what happened there, but we have uh, uh, Imran and team and the boys have transplanted some from outside to hopefully fill up the gaps. But other than that, the, after two or three attempts, the Mombasa is up. Wonderful. And if we look at B3, again, large Mombasa at the back, no idea why. Uh, here, there was some, but... Uh, I think the boys have since uh, mulched and transplanted some Mombasa. Hopefully they'll grow uh, from outside. And if we go down to the next B1 line where there are inputs, you can see that, uh, well, we didn't, we didn't replant Mombasa, but some Mombasa is growing, still a bit of cosmos and very, generally very lush. I think some of the weeds from the compost, Kimlung compost and maybe the goat dunk has is very nice and nice and lush on the B1. And then on the B3, this is where the wild ball came in and messed around. This was where all the palm oil extra trunks were. So the boys have moved the trunks left and right to to fill up the tree lines and this is bare sort of sort of just moved out and bare now. You can see still the wild ball traces of mess. So this is probably where we can we can either plant around on Mombasa or, or grass or something. So the bee lines are you can see this is the sort of the learnings lah, the progress. And at least we know now that uh, we are able to establish Mombasa with uh, some inputs. Without inputs it's tough. So that is pretty much in line with uh, with what we have been seeing recently from the Brazilians. Uh, that Mombasa needs some level of fertility. So you can still see that we have put in some Kimlung compost. We tilled it in uh, with, I think we, did, we didn't we did do lime uh, and we did, uh, we, we casted goat dung as well. So, and you can see it's very lush. So hopefully in uh, another few weeks, we will do our first cut and, after, and we'll just lay the grass left and right. Okay. So just looking at the tree lines, uh, some pruning has been done by the boys. I wasn't around, but it looks, you know, you can see this is the high and low line with no inputs and no broad fork. The acacia and the, the, the cassava with the recent rain, I mean, it's really, really doing well. The jack beans at the bottom have sort of grown out, uh, doing quite well. And it's a high low line, so you know at the start you can see. Well, let's try and look for the high tree. So that's the, the high tree, the jackfruit here. New leaves, it shed all its leaves when we planted it. So these are all new leaves. I would say doing quite okay, uh, come sin sitting comfortably inside. And this looks like a yeah, this looks like a chermai that we planted, a chermai tree. Right beside the jackfruit. Looks like a chermai, yeah. yeah. Jack beans. Uh, banana, surviving one. After the monkey and the ball attack. So a bit slower coming up. So we should be actually looking at bananas as well. But yeah, we took out the... So I don't know whether we should replant. But let's just do a quick stroll down the high-low line. You can see that the... Wow, the even with no inputs, ah, the cassava is strong. And yeah, inside our coffee is right there. That is the temporary shade when we planted it. Looking pretty good, I would say. Looking pretty good. Not too green, not too yellow. Much better than when we first started. Some Lucania, I think. Or Angsana, I think Lucania. No, sorry, not Saga. Planted by seed, but completely shaded out in the wrong strata lah, under the cassava. Uh, turmeric yam also look like a bit shaded out 
So turmeric on the side, on the other hand, doing very well. Banana didn't die off. Coming back to life, small yam banana, cassava. Hey, sorry, yam. This is where the wild boar went through, creating some light. And you see the turmeric is not too bad. Uh, peach and pea, acacia, acacia bitten here and there. Generally okay, cassava. I think this is another chermai. Uh, so yeah, cassava, cassava, banana, regrowing after the attack by the monkeys. I don't know whether this is Tonka Ali or not, or what is the Chermai trees? There seem to be quite a lot of them. Oh, hang on, it might be uh, Angsana. No, 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 not Angsana. Something we grew from seed. Yeah, maybe it's Chermai. Yeah. Uh, so this is where the wild boar uh, attacked. I'm looking for the next high tree, which might be the Chermai. Here, I don't see any other any other high tree. Uh, looking looking for like a jackfruit or or a okay, but I see a small coffee here, and I see another coffee here. This is way more yellow in the sunlight. And uh, yep, acacia. So don't really see one. Maybe on the way back we'll see. And this is where the wild ball was. So back to some lushness. Um, yep, this banana is look like look like it's coming up. Again, cassava. Looking down, jackfruit, uh, jack beans sticking out. Uh, some leucania from seed growing slowly. Uh, uh, bananas. Look at the. This is probably pruned uh, pruned by the boys. But a uh, yam inside, slow with a, a lot of shade. Lemongrass obviously shaded out. Mm. So another jackfruit here. That's the high tree after the, all the coffees. Uh, there was a Tonka Ali, a couple of Tonka Ali's, I think, but we'll see where they are. So acacia, pigeon pea, higher than the acacia. Lots of cassava, jack beans. Jack beans are actually fruiting a little bit here. Can smell a bit of the the palm trunks rotting. So just bending down, looking at the because the boys have pruned the bottom a bit, so it's clearer. And you can see the matoa. This is probably the last the last uh, high tree. And then a banana coming back. Overall, just dominated by cassava, acacia, pigeon pea, bananas coming up. And this this is the old Mombasas that grew from the side. And this is the Mombasa line looking from the other end. So yeah, I would say looking pretty good, looking like a real syntropic system. Only thing is the bananas, right? Missing. But then again we can replant or figure out a way. So walking back. Jackfruit. Looking at the looking for the climax trees. It's really hard to find. Uh. Pretty sure they are around, but just coffee, turmeric, and sort of all in the another. Yeah, this is. Yeah, my guess is this is Chermai.
coffee and and then we'll end with the start is another jackfruit so oh, oh, jackfruit right there so I think maybe I have to look for one high tree where the wild boar attacked either it's not there we have to replant or or uh or I just can't see it at this at this point. So that's good. Okay, so B1, B2, just uh, turmeric, bananas are coming back, and uh, lots again dominated by cassava and acacia. The boys have pruned them down a little bit. So B3, half filled with Mombasa, so we can see that the bananas are not giving up here and there. Uh, turmeric is growing. This no inputs, no broad flock. So really, really just to produce biomass. And if we can get some turmeric, some yam, we'll get it. If not, but this is really just a biomass row. Uh, you can see the yam is without any shade, not doing too well. So that's B two. Okay, emergent line. Uh, I would say the first three feet have been pruned by the boys, the team to, I think to let light into the the system. Uh, this banana has been uh, destroyed many times, and this is his current the current fight. So growing, acacia pruned at the bottom, cassava. This is over two meters tall. You can see the bottom have been pruned very clearly. That's the durian, the first emergent. Some turmeric sort of being freed up. We have some pineapple here. Yep, quietly growing. Uh, and we, plant, we plant, planted a pineapple here and there. So there's one more here. You can see it's not really growing that well but it's alive but we also planted it a bit too close to the turmeric because we were just densely planting there's one lime fruit lime's not looking not very happy we we planted the lime quite large with a small poly bag so the roots were quite knotted up and this is also no input so it looks like the lime is alive but not not there not happy yet but now that with all the shade from the cassava and the bananas hopefully and the organic matter that we are left putting down like you see the acacia uh, hopefully this will be good the jack bean is here soil is uh, not too not looking pretty good that's the mulch from the oldest mulch from the shredding the palm leaves and you can see very quickly it's already the original soil uh, yeah the yeah, orange soil but um, it's moist to my hands. These are the, the little roots from the trees. Smelling pretty good. You can see softer, moist. Yeah, so this was, yeah, you can see a lot of the roots are at the, at the layer between the mulch and the, the original soil, which is still orange, yeah. But feeling moist, lots of life. So, yeah. So just stepping back. Uh, the palm fruit that we use as a mulch is now fruiting with all the old baby palms. Very nice, interesting. Wonder what we can do with it. Jack Jack Bean is sort of after sunlight coming in. Jack Bean is growing. Uh, so the lime was the medium. We should have another medium tree somewhere here. I am wondering what it is. I can't see any. This is a looks like some legume has grown out of the mix. This is another lime. Uh, also looking yellow. Planted a bit too old. Hopefully it recovers. Uh, some mulberries have grown up. So stepping back again. I think this is uh, soursop. Yeah, 
this is a soursop tree not looking very happy is it yeah maybe again we planted it too old so gotta gotta but with the sunlight hopefully it gets better so that's the medium collection medium secondary and medium climax here we have an, uh, a custard apple uh, that we replace that one with that one died very fast but also looking quite quite yellow and not really happy uh, also this custard apple is we planted it quite old so let's see what happens to to this uh, pineapple here doing well another sour salt also looking yellow no inputs beside the lime which is also yellowish turmeric slowly coming up uh, this is a uh, uh, mangosteen surviving looking well two new leaves this one's we cut when we planted so very slowly growing very slowly I would say because you know it's been quite a few months and it, two new leaves but still alive turmeric turmeric there growing better it looks like we can actually give it more organic matter so again dominated by acacia wonder whether we should be pruning even heavier than what we are doing now so limau kasturi again showing a bit of stress uh, no inputs huh? And this is the durian, another durian, sprouting new leaves, not very large and green but looks comfortable enough. And I think these are from seed but we seeded them in the pot. This banana is coming back, a bit sort of yellowish, not enough fertility. Generally these, these rows are a little bit less lush because there's no inputs but surviving. Limes to again yellow, but okay. Turmeric, pineapples, banana, again another lime trying to find its way, yellowish. Another mangosteen here, medium tree, again very slowly growing, two leaves after so long. So these guys are patient guys. Huh? Limau Kasturi finding its way, struggling a bit. So all another Limau Kasturi. All experiencing the same sort of stress. And then I think there should be one last durian. Yeah, one last durian here. Again from, I think from seed. And then the bananas. And so we're looking at the high medium line after pruning. I think the pruning looks pretty good. Not too heavy to still have shade. Uh, again, you can, bananas, if more established will be, you know, you have bananas around, that would be nice. Okay. Fine. Going back way. Mombasa. This is the B1 with inputs uh, with a bit of weeds in Mombasa looking quite lush B2 uh, the back looks a bit sparse because this is where the wild boar came in and messed around you can see but you can see the with the, the yam is doing pretty well with some inputs and acacias all pruned down again leucanias some papayas Just walking along the B1 line, you can see the yams are doing much better than the ones with no inputs. The caches standing up on their own. We didn't, we didn't uh, do any any cassava here, so that's why you, there's no cassava. But see the acacia is lush, pruned at the bottom. Some cosmos now, pretty much self seeding. Lots of insect life there is a nice bee right on it or something on it right there. 
parasitoid uh, pious from seed some Mombasa some of the legume trees from seed I think this might be this might be a uh, saga and yeah, pious. so that's the B2 B3 was the the whole chunk of uh, trunks that we have now moved left and right and I mean just with the inputs the this is the next high high low line is just I mean it's a jungle here very lush you can compare it to there that's the emergent line and you can compare it to the high low line with no inputs just a quick step back to show so you see this is high low line no inputs Cassava and acacia maybe two meters high and high low lines with inputs it's just you know much lusher and green in we're right next here we are like 10 feet away from palm so maybe some sanderson's also but yet yet it's strong so really the inputs make a difference and here it will be hard to find the climax trees but it will be worth going through them and checking on their health you know like uh, here we have a kundang sort of mango kundang tree looking very well looking very well very nestled between a banana that's coming back I'm holding on to a very tall cast of uh, turmeric much lusher you can see turmeric are all lush young papayas obviously can't fight uh, from seed these are probably saga or lucanias uh, yams are uh, lying all over jack beans uh, lots of little lucanias um, so the net the there are coffee there's a coffee here there you go that's the low tree coffee nestled amongst all the plants not too bad looking pretty good a bit yellow but looking pretty okay and just major lushness jack beans again after initially coming up first once the rows are dominated by the cassava and the and the acacia the jack beans sort of reach out on the left very interesting. I uh, don't know how much it affects their fruiting because compared to 